Good morning and welcome back to Sparkman Homestead. My name is Krista. Today we are going to go on a little bit of an adventure. I love, love, love to thrift things. I am such a fan of going to little tiny like mom and pop church thrift stores and finding most of my wardrobe. I cannot remember the last time I actually purchased something brand new from a store. Um, actually, I can. It's most likely my shoes. I love to get sneakers and Birkenstocks. That is my weakness. Today we are going to go into Nashville and we are going to kind of do all of our running around in Nashville. So first up, what we're going to do is we are going to go to the Goodwill bins. I call it the Goodwill bins. Essentially the reason I call it that, it's the Goodwill outlets, but they have everything in these really long blue bins, or they actually leave them in big boxes and you have to rummage through the boxes, and you pay per pound. So I believe I pay a dollar thirty per pound, or maybe it's a dollar ten per pound. I can't remember what it is, but it is a really, really, really good deal. And that is honestly how I find a majority of my clothing. Steven's clothing um, and then also I find a lot of like little goodies for the kitchen and cookbooks I find a lot of cookbooks there anyways we're gonna go there and then once we're done the Goodwill outlets we are gonna go to Costco and I'm gonna pick up a couple of things so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and we are gonna go and hopefully find some really fun stuff but Stephen has actually already been out this morning and he was going to do some running around and he came across this garage sale and he found me some really fun stuff. Let's go inside and I'll show you. So he found these little goodies for me today. I am always on the lookout for these um, oil lamps. And look at, he paid $2 for this beautiful one. And then $4 for that one. He also found me this little a tiny mortal and pestle, I think it's called. It's just for grinding like herbs and stuff, but it's super small. He found it for a dollar and it's marble. I love it. I'm going to use that for doing like making all my little teas and stuff that I don't need my huge one for. And then he found this. I think he paid four dollars for it. Yep. Yeah. Four dollars. And then he found for a dollar this container full of knitting needles, which is really, really cool. I have not crocheted in a really, really long time um, just because with my surgery on my eye and then all the treatments that I have been getting on my eye, it has honestly been really hard to focus on stuff. So I haven't crocheted in a really long time. Um, but what I have been doing is like if I see like knitting needles or crocheting hooks, I will pick them up if I can get them for really cheap because I am planning on getting back into that and I'm definitely planning on learning knitting. And I figure why not grab the stuff when I can find it really cheap instead of going to pay full retail for it before, you know, just practice with cheaper stuff. Well, that's probably not even cheap stuff. That looks like it's pretty good knitting needles. But anyways, that's what he found me this morning at the garage sale. There was a lot more stuff, um, but I just kind of told him, you know, don't bother with it. I was going to put my knitting needles away and this is just the container they came in and I went to go and throw it out. But then I realized there's a recipe on the back for peanut butter oatmeal cookies. So I am going to copy this recipe down because I can't really cut it off. So I'm gonna copy it down and give it a try maybe sometime in the next couple weeks. Looks good. I love finding old little recipes like this. So today is gonna to be kind of like a treasure hunting day and I am so excited. I love, love going to Goodwill Outlet. It's kind of a hit or miss. Sometimes we find amazing stuff and other times we don't find really anything at all. So let's get heading into Nashville. Just got to Goodwill. Oh, there it is, there's the sign. So we are gonna head in. Stephen's already making his way over there with the cart. I have my bag. I like to bring these just to put the stuff in. Um, 
and then we just put it on the scale to weigh it. So let's head in and see what we can find. a basket there's actually a couple of them it's really nice for plants and then brand new pictures picture frame so they just put those bins out and that's why they're very very busy over there that is not where i want to be Stephen found some really good outdoor or outdoor cushions really good shape and we actually found two of them I am super frustrated I cannot find anything really good right now just kind of poking around but nothing really super good has jumped out at me when I come wanting to find something particular I never find it Steven is over there in that craziness they just brought bins out and I will not go over there. We are leaving. I did not find very much stuff and I do not know where the car is up there. Just. So we are leaving and we are gonna head over to Costco. All right, we are on our second part of the outing. We just got to Costco. So let's see how busy this is on a Friday afternoon. Hopefully it's not too busy. This will be good for Canny shelf. So I am in need of some reading glasses. So I am gonna pick some up. Pretty good price. You get all different kinds of styles. I am actually in the market for a kettle because my kettle that I have right now is super small. And this one is $30 for a 1.8 quart. I just opened it up and realized that there is a infuser in here so you can make like different teas with it. I don't know. I'm going to think on it. Pillows. So, definitely a good deal. We have gotten these in the past and they are really, really good. So they are $24.99. Steven found some oh, the little Yoda guys. Star Wars Pyrex. I love using these to store all my leftovers in instead of plastic. I love the Pyrex. Hello Kitty too. Get a Hello Kitty and they are 17 17.99. I really like these. And those ones were the 24.99. But these are nice. This is another great option for food storage as well. Oh, they were $24.99. Steven's found some cast iron. Dolly, cast iron, look at it. Steven got her logo on the back. <laughs> you know you're in Nashville. Yeah, you know you're in Nashville, you got Dolly Parton. And those ones are $24.99. That's pretty cool though. That's neat. Look at that grilling thing. 1997. I love these. That is so cool. They're glass. I love these baggies. These are really good and they last a really long time. But the biggest size isn't big enough. Or $12.99. And then we also have some glass Pyrex with the covers. This is actually something I want right here. These are $89.99. I was thinking it'd be perfect to carry produce in from the garden. Not really drinking right now, but if I was, this wine, farm to table. I would buy it just strictly because of the name. Got some dry fruit. Ooh, this looks interesting. $11.99 for a 
for some dried jackfruit. Hmm, yummy. Jackfruit is also a really, really good vegan substitute if you wanna make like a pulled pork. Jackfruit in a can, it is so, so good to swap out and use that to make the pulled pork with. But I had never had it dried, so that may be interesting to try. Got these golden hammy melons, which I think it's kind of like a canary melon, $5.99. We have uh, an alarm system behind us. Oh, actually these are canaries right here. $5.99. Some of the produce is looking very, very, very sad. $5.99 for this and it does not look fresh. These are my favorite. These are my favorite. $5.99. There's some croissants. Okay, going into the cold section. I love these grapes. Love, love, love them. $9.99 for them. Oh, it's freezing in here. $5.29 for a big bag of carrots. Ooh, these look fancy. Uh, salad. What's the date? July 22nd. It's good, we're gonna eat it quick. $6.79 for these little duos which essentially are just new potatoes. And how many pounds are in here? Uh, I can't say five pounds. Some wagyu. Ooh, bison. We are just checking out the average price of what the beef is running because we just ordered another cow. And so we're kind of comparing, ooh, what is this? Oh, short ribs. That is a lot of money for short ribs. Wow. Even the oxtail, look at how much the oxtail is. Literally, I get this with scrap when I buy my get my cow. I do like the lamb though. That's $12.99 a pound. These are my favorite, favorite sausages. I actually heard that these are really good too and they actually apparently have really good stuff in them. They're pretty clean. Steven has found this. Look at that. Looks pretty good. So many choices. That look yummy. You can get this right here. And that one is $11.99 per pound. We are butchering our chickens next week and look at how much that is. It's $3.79 per pound. Mind you, you do get quite a bit in here, but yeah. The chicken thighs. Wow. $20. This is why we raise our own chickens. Party wings, even those are $21.26. What are these? $2.99 per pound. <laughs> $24.99, $3.65 a pound for ground turkey. All natural, organic This one's organic is $6.66 a pound. Wow. When you raise your own meat, you are so unaware of how much it costs in a grocery store. I cannot get over these prices. It's crazy. That is. That's crazy. That's $15 per bird. That's insane. Best deal around. $4.99 for rotisserie chicken. This looks pretty good. $39.99 for a thing of lobster. $28.99 for some crab. I was also looking at this. This corned beef deli slice. Looks pretty good. That one is $7.49 for two cases of mozzarella. I love getting these. 
I think I'm slightly hungry because this is looking delicious. And that is $12.99. That might be something I might try to make. <gasps> oh. Yum. Oh, what? $4.97. That might be too good to pass up. Always can't get over how expensive these are, and yet they're so easy to make. Like this one, $11.99 for five. It's crazy. It's really starting to show now that we are now at like almost, I think, five o'clock on a Friday. Costco is starting to get a lot more busier. <laughs> I'm starting to wish I wasn't here, but it's okay. We're getting things we don't need. Ooh, this caught my eye. Eight forty-nine. These look oh, yes, delicious. Yes, yes. Steven is saying yes. I don't know what this is. Eleven ninety-nine. Oh, banana chips. That looks fun. Also, like coming in here because it gives me ideas of things that I can make myself. So, like those breakfast sandwiches, fifteen ninety-nine. Yummy. Eleven forty-nine. Oh, I can't wait until our jalapenos are growing. So we love pot stickers. That one is $12.69 for... Mm, did we get them? Taking a look at the ingredients. Uh, I don't like the soy in there. I may make them myself. Um, olive oil. Anyone for the organic stuff. Can't believe how much oil has gone up in price. Oh, I need lemon juice. That's right over here. Lemon juice, $8.99. I love this kind. And this is my go-to flour. I love this stuff. It's $17.99 and you get two 10 pound bags. So $17.99 for 20 pounds. Really, really love that flour. I use it for my sourdough and it Turns out beautifully. $4.97. Hmm. Never heard of this. I'm debating getting this stuff for when I'm feeling lazy and don't want to make mayonnaise. But every time I go to buy it, I realize that I can buy a thing of organic oil for $10 and make like four of these. But this is definitely good for when you don't have time to make mayonnaise. And then, because we are in the South, $13.49 for some Duke's mayonnaise. They have these ones for $12.99. This one. I love looking at the prices of the bone broth. So $18.99 for a box of six cartons of bone broth when it's free to make it yourself. On the hunt for a really good protein bar. These ones are $19.99. Know which one to get. So I think I'm gonna give these a try. 17. These look yummy. Some pistachios, 14.99. Salt and vinegar. Stephen likes these honey nut mix. Why would you try they? 13.69. Ooh. Hey guys, I am going to interrupt this video just for one second or one minute. Um, I realized that I went from showing you the nuts at Costco all the way to just skipping ahead to the very next day when we were at the orchard. I never ended up filming a Costco haul for you guys when we got home because that night we actually ended up meeting one of our friends in Nashville and going out for dinner. So I never got a chance to film that by the time we got home. So it kind of goes from here's the cost of nuts at Costco to, oh, we're at the orchard the very next day. So I just wanted to come in here and just kind of tell you, I did do a little bit of a haul um, today for what I can remember that I got there. I actually ended up throwing the receipt out, so I can't even remember everything that I got. <laughs> but um, yeah, so just stay tuned for the end of the video if you want to see what I ended up picking up at Goodwill and at Costco. So let's go on to the very next day. On day two of adventures. We are in the parking lot at um, an orchard near us. It's called Jackson Orchard. Let's see if I can get the barn in the background here. 
you can kind of see it up there. Anyways, if you look behind me, there's plum trees all along here. When I was doing my pantry tour, I had mentioned that this year I want to make a plum sauce. So I asked her about them. I'm like, I don't see any plums here. And she's like, oh, you just take a bag and you go and pick your own. And then in the parking lot, and then we you weigh them when you come in. So we are literally picking plums in the parking lot. So we're going to take it up and get weighed. But these trees are loaded and one fun thing that she had told us is that even if they are green now they will ripen in your fridge so we are just picking a bag full and i'm going to make some plum sauce this plum tree has got so many plums on it it is weighed down <laughs> so many of them just picking them so we picked five pounds of plums in like a matter of not even five minutes. So some of them are green. Like this one is definitely still green, but it's really cool. She said, if you just leave them in your fridge, they will eventually ripen. All right, it is now a couple of days later. This video is spanning over at least a couple of days, which is fine. I tried to grab as many things that I could remember that we purchased at Costco that night. Plus we have eaten some of the stuff um, that we also purchased. I also took out a couple of things that I picked up at Aldi's. There was an Aldi's located right by one of the thrift stores. So I went in and grabbed a couple of things because the Aldi's located in Nashville versus the one that we have in Bowling Green carries different stuff. Like it is way bigger of an Aldi's than we actually have in Bowling Green. So I went in there and some of their stuff was actually priced a tad bit cheaper. So I picked up some of these beef, I got two of them, but they're stuck together. These uncured beef hot dogs, I really, really like them. And I think they were about a dollar cheaper than our Bowling Green store. Maybe not, maybe I just don't remember the price right. But this is another thing that I ended up picking up at all these. It is some ground lamb. In Bowling Green, they do have lamb available, but they just have like the shoulder lamb roast. I wanted to get some ground lamb because I want to make a couple of dishes with it. I personally love lamb. Steven said he's not a fan of it but I'm gonna try to convince him with these recipes. So at Costco, I ended up getting my favorite lemon juice. So I got two of those. I got some of these Baby Bell mushrooms. I'm gonna do a couple recipes this week using this. And then I got some spring mix. And then I picked up a pack of my favorite sausages. You get three in a pack here. And then I'm gonna try these. These are a new thing for us. I've heard really good reviews about this particular company and you get quite a bit of them. So I'm gonna try some of those. We have been eating through these. These things are delicious. Sorry, the label is all worn off on that because we've been ripping into it, but these are so, so good. We have them with this garlic Parmesan dip that we picked up from Aldi's, but Stephen has eaten through the dip, so I can't even show you guys which one it is. It's really, really, really delicious. One thing I love about Aldi's is it's Trader Joe's, because I do believe they're actually the same company or owned by the same company. I'm not sure exactly how they're linked, but Aldi's has a lot of the products that Trader Joe's has, but it is substantially cheaper than Trader Joe's. Plus we don't have a Trader Joe's in Bowling Green. And when I go into Nashville, there is two Trader Joe's. They are located in such a very, very busy area of Nashville, like almost close to downtown. And I'm not trying to go down there and deal with all the tourists. So I stay usually away from Trader Joe's unless there's something that I really, really need. And then of course I pick these up. These things are delicious especially the raspberry one so 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 good so worth the five dollars and the other thing that i got was these bars i have tried both the chocolate chip and the peanut butter and jam and the peanut butter and jam is amazing i've just been trying to increase my protein lately so that's why i picked those up and they're just a really good protein hit they do have cane sugar in them so they're not a sugar-free option but they do taste really really good and they have how many grams of protein in them uh 
just put my glasses back on so I could read. They have 12 grams of protein in each one, so really good. The peanut butter and jam one, so, so delicious. And then the last thing that I can remember that I grabbed were these pillows. I used one the second I got home because I was in desperate need of a new pillow. Um, but they're pretty good. They're kind of a softer pillow, but really, really, really good. And then I wanna show you a couple of things that I ended up getting from the uh, Goodwill outlets. I love when they bring out their bins of books because I get to just kind of rummage through them and look for really good cookbooks and plus reading books. I have read a lot of this particular author's books and I love them. I have actually never read this particular one. I found this book and I was super happy so I'm gonna finally get to read this one. I highly, highly recommend his books. They are very, very good. And then I found this keto air fryer recipe. I do not follow a keto diet. I just really try to eat whole foods. Um, yes, I do have treats now and then. I eat bread, um, but I do like finding keto recipes because they tend to be a little bit more higher on the protein side. And because I'm trying to increase my protein, I'm hoping that these keto books will give me a couple ideas for some really high protein meals. This is another keto one that I found. So got a couple of resources to use. This book I was so, so excited to find. This is the Barefoot Contessa cookbook. Barefoot Contessa is one of my favorite, favorite chefs. I love her style of cooking. She loves to cook like fresh ingredients and super, super easy. So I was really excited to find that book at the Goodwill because I was actually going to purchase one of her books on this website called Thrift Books. It's where you can get some really good deals on books and sometimes they're new and sometimes they are gently used. Anyways, I was gonna order one of her books on there and then I found this. So at the Goodwill outlets, the books are 59 cents a pound, so it's a really, really great resource if you are trying to find some new cookbooks to kind of add to your collection. I know that you can get recipes online um, and definitely I use that resource, but I love having just hard copies of recipes just so that I can just use them whenever and I don't have to worry about the internet. And then I have a collection of this Fix It and Forget It uh, books. These are crock pot meals and I will definitely be getting into this when we get into the fall and winter season. So it's excited to see this one. I don't have this one. And then Stephen found me this book. <laughs> definitely excited to kind of go through this and see what fun recipes I can find. Another fun thing I found at Goodwill, and I think I showed you at the beginning of the video, is this basket. So I noticed that this basket was a perfect height to put plants in. So I just have a potted plant here and just put it in the basket, and I just love the look of it. This is kind of my plant pile that I have by the front door. It gets all southern facing light, but it looks perfect for my plant. So that's kind of been the last couple of days. It's just been a really busy, busy week, but it's been really, really good. Um, oh, I just noticed another thing that I purchased. I ended up getting a, one of these cases of reading glasses. Um, that was a really, I think it was what, $16 for those. So it gives me three reading glasses. I lose my glasses, I break my glasses. So I like to have glasses literally anywhere where I need to be seeing something. I have a pair on my nightstand upstairs. I have a pair at my desk where I'm working. And usually I keep a pair somewhere in the kitchen so I can read recipes. But anyways, happy to find that box of glasses. And yeah, I think that was everything. Oh, one more thing before I say goodbye. Look at all of my babies. I am getting my fall garden started. Yes, these guys are very, very, very leggy because I just have them sitting in front of my window instead of grow lights, but I honestly don't wanna get all my grow lights out. But we have some pak choy, broccoli, all of that stuff. So once they start to get their true leaves, hopefully they don't get too leggy before then, I'm gonna get them up potted and probably put them here or I might just leave them on my back deck. But because our days have been like the higher 80s, broccoli does not like that and I don't want it to bolt right away. So 
Anyways, just getting that started. That's a fun new thing that I've got going on right now. I know we are in the dead of summer right now, like the heat of summer, but I gotta get my fall garden started because that is gonna come quicker than I would like. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed running around with me over the last weekend. I hope you have a good day or night whenever you're watching this, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.